What up, folks? I'm Ultrazone. Today I have a review of the Pokemon Select Grand Ninja. That's why my name is we're doing our second Pokemon Select figure, and he's just kind of floating around in there because <laughs> uh, I unboxed him twice, and um, you know, then I put him back in here till it's time for review. It's time for review. Nice packaging really big packaging that they give but they have like stands so uh i i'll allow it here is a cross sell of everybody in series one though they're dropping them a little bit at a time first we got charizard now we got Grand ninja articuno may or may not be out there depending on who you ask and uh ray plaza has yet to be seen from what i know but pretty cool packaging so without any further ado let's get to the review Ninja comes with this stand. Put that in here. We have this arm here. This there. Nice ratchets. Sounds great, right? It does pull apart a little bit, but that's fine. And then Greninja has a hole in his back, G.I. Joe style. And you could just pop him in, and then uh, you could do a lot of different poses with him. Because honestly, oh, hey, you want to see it, don't you? Uh, honestly, y you really need it for him. Uh, you kind of really do. He also comes uh, with these uh, ninja stars, for lack of a better term. Um, you know, Grand Ninja, Ninja Stars, whatever they are. They like Ninja Stars. Even my son called them Ninja Stars. Uh, and he likes Pokemon. Anywho, they're clear blue light light blue plastic with uh white paint on them that actually looks really good on both sides it has a little peg right there hands have a little peg hole you just pop it in and there you go it stays in really good so yeah that's that's cool little effect parts for you for grand ninja articulation on this figure head swivels and that's about it because of the neck they just made it a swivel you have an upper body joint that's probably a little bit too free. Uh, you have a hinge swivel at the shoulder and you have a bicep swivel that's up at the very high bicep. You have a double jointed elbow, but do be careful because these joints are so thin and I do have a little bit of a stress mark on one side of mine already. Uh, the second joint here like is really really hard to function so i really kind of wish they didn't even include it because it makes me want to do it but uh afraid it's gonna break if i do you have swivels at the wrists legs are on ball joints so you could do whatever a ball joint can do not much of a split or anything um but it's okay and then the legs are hinged you do have to be careful and see which way because everything kind of turns on you. So there is a hinge there. Oh my God, and I'm stressing the plastic. Stressing the plastic. This is a problem. And I mentioned this right at my unboxing uh, haul of the week thing, that that was probably gonna be a problem. Same thing at the feet. You can move it. There, look at this stressed plastic in there, you see it? Kind of hard to see my current setting, unfortunately. But yeah, there's stress plastic everywhere on this figure. And uh, the articulation really suffers from it. Okay, we got more lighting here now. Um, so you can see there, stress plastic. Stressed plastic. Like everywhere, there's a joint. Stressed plastic. Like it's nuts. So that really takes away the enjoyment of this figure. And he is a tad bit loose. Uh, oh, art this articulates, my apologies. It articulates here in three joints. So actually four joints, four joints. So that's pretty cool. We got to mention that there. Uh, I was too bummed out by uh, everything else that's going on with this figure, uh, which is not good, which is not good guys. Looks wise, shape is pretty cool. I think the proportions are nice for a Grand Ninja. The hands look pretty good. The paint there uh, in the webbing looks fine. Paint there looks fine, paint there looks fine. Paint on the chest looks pretty good. Before we get to the head sculpt, let's see the rest of them. Paint there is good. Paint on the knees are good. Paint between his toes are good. And the sculpt work is actually pretty good throughout. Uh, I do like a little tail. That looks pretty good. His tongue, I believe. Uh, tongue scarf is done really well. 
it's just in this pink plastic, but it's done pretty well. And then uh, the head sculpt, it is a little choppy in spots, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. The eyes look pretty good. And then the paint over here looks pretty good. So not so shabby, I gotta say, not so shabby. Uh, looks wise, it's not bad. <laughs> you know, like, there's a little bit of unevenness in some of the lines on the head, but otherwise, I can't, I can't fault it on the looks department. It looks the part, the paint is clean for the most part. Um, so yeah, but you know, the other stuff, yeah, that other stuff's no good. Oh, and standing without that stand? Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna happen. And for your size comparisons, courtesy of that stand, um, here we have Grand Ninja with a bunch of other figures from various lines you might have in your collection, including, of course, the Pokemon Select Charizard, which is a much superior figure than Grand Ninja. And my final thoughts, while the looks are pretty good, the effects are pretty good, the stand is nice, and you can get decent poses out of him on the stand, I'm gonna have to say this figure is not that good because uh, you're gonna break him. Uh, those joints are terrible almost throughout the entire figure, and that's a big problem. That's a big problem. There's gonna be a lot of possible breakage with this figure, so do be careful with it. Uh, for sure, uh, I'm not enjoying it at all. Um, I'm, I might sell it, uh, or if Ultra Zola Jr. wants it, he can have it. But, I mean, he has uh, Ash's Grand Ninja somewhere. Uh, couldn't find many Pokemon figures. <laughs> well, doing size comparisons, be, you know, despite being in the apartment this week doing reviews. Um, but yeah, this one, I'm gonna say it's a dud, guys. Unfortunately, second one, to come across here is a dud and that's my final thoughts hope you dug it let me know your opinion down below and please like comment subscribe and share check me out on facebook and instagram stay safe till next time peace out peeps